it's time to go. Looks like we have a little bit more of a, uh, of a ghost group if you missed Monday morning, which is okay. I ended up uh, sleeping the, down just a little bit. Uh, I ended up sleeping in after a very long Akira the Dawn uh, marathon stream that he did. It was a real awesome treat. A uh, good time, but uh, definitely knocked me out and knocked a lot of the other events. Uh, so I apologize, I was not here yesterday, but I am here today. Uh, we set up our poll, I'm going to work on, uh, waiting for responses to come in on that, and um, I am just glad to be here. 
today I open up the stream with one of the instrumentals from the new album. Uh, man, that song is just epic. It's totally epic. Uh, so it is good to be here. One of, of the things that I might end up working on this morning. Um, a couple of months ago, I wrote this really... Uh, I spent some time in the woods writing some nature poetry. Uh, that's a new appearance on the list, as well as possibly celebrating clip writers for tackling a poem that has a myriad of themes, among which are COVID, Cuba, and better states. Um, and I'm kind of looking through my old backlog of projects, um, and my we have someone else joining us today on the stream. Uh, we have special guest if he wants to drop uh, something into the chat. Um, I've always had trouble with my volume levels, to say the least. Um, so I'm going to bring this up just a little more. There we go. That a little better. I'm getting text messages from the other room on this one. Um, drop into the chat and say hello if you are in here. Um, my, I, I have someone helping me today. So... We'll see if they end up saying hi in the chat. But anyway, hopefully that helps with the voice. Um, Got to keep an eye on those um, voice levels there. And I also have to change what it looks like. So can't have the... And we had a lot of people follow us a few days before, a few days ago, so celebrating some of those follows. Uh, really appreciate Robert Easley. Uh, Savage Till, Gabplay TK, Laz, T Blex, Purple Teen Ninja, and Angel the Leopard Diva all ended up following us yesterday, which is awesome. Let's see how our poll ended up. Oh, there she is in the chat. So we have Mrs. Typewriter Poet in the house. Um, she is going. She is going to be occasionally making appearances in the chat when uh, her mornings are not wrapped up with other work. So good to see you, Mrs. Typewriter Poet. Um, she is tuning in from the other room. Uh, really, really, really awesome that to, to have her as part of this to help, which is really cool. So yeah, so let's see how our poll ended up. Um, we didn't end up having any votes on our poll, which is, leads it to writer's choice. I think I'm going to work on my... Um, I'm trying to think of which one I want to work I think I'm going to work on my Jordan Springs Cuba poem. This one's really interesting. Uh, I'll bring it up to the camera and show people the, the mess of writing that it has become uh, with all the different um, edits and notes and things like that. Uh, a couple of my poems have been worked through with a writer's group, and this is one of those poems. So I'm going to kind of just tackle it a little bit and see if that, um, you know, that helps. So are my volume levels good now? Uh, just asking the audience if my volume levels are okay. Seems that my microphone was a little low before. Let's get some paper. Oh goodness, I need to actually get up and get some paper. I will be right back. We have tons of snow out. It is still snowing. Looking outside right now, it is still coming down. It seems like every time they go to uh, put more salt down or to, to, to plow it more, we have more snow that comes in. Yeah, yeah. Andrews, he says, when you turn away, it might have been a little quiet, but it sounds good now. So what basically happened is I was reviewing one of these um, shows, like I was watching a replay of myself, and I noticed that my microphone was topping out, like it was so, it, I had the volume on so loud that it was, it was like crackling. And then I realized that um, I needed to lower it, so I lowered it, and the music was also really soft, so I raised that, and it seems that I've gotten myself into a bit of a Pickle with that. Good morning, Fool Killer. Good to see you. Currently trying to set up our camera. Uh, 
with some of my background processes so my video doesn't skip as much. I forgot to do that this morning. How is your poetry reading going, Fool Killer, this morning? I hope it is going well. writing in just a second. There we go. Hopefully that makes everything run just a little better. So I attempted on my own a while back, I've kind of given myself a pretty big challenge with this poem because I attempted a while back to do the rewrite on it and I couldn't. Like I tried, I worked through some of the bits of it and then it just turned into a bit of a mess. Let us see where I could start with this. It's part of the, the joy of live writing, of nostalgia. That's why I just wanted to kind of do a fresh rewrite um, while keeping with a lot of the stuff that I see here. I think I was like trying too hard to keep the original form of the poem when I was doing the last rewrite. And I think that's the answer to kind of the question, which is part of the reason why I wanted to bring it onto the morning studio this morning. Good morning, Patrick Smith. Good to see you here. Uh, bringing it onto the morning stream. Uh, oh, thank you so much for the host, Patrick. Good to see you. Thank you so much for hosting. Um, except for the fact that for some reason I am having technical issues again. I remember why I'm having technical issues. This happens each time. That should fix it. Let's see. That should that should make it a whole lot better. Wow, man. Having one program open will, will drag the whole computer down. Um... And so I think that's why forcing myself to do this on stream is going to be better.
already like this version a lot better. And this version is wildly different than the one that I originally started with. And kind of taking the literalist interpretation at least gives me a fresh start um, on the on the poem. That way, um, I could turn around and bring this to the writers group, and they might say, "Well, you, you you gutted it of all the beautiful metaphor, but at least we understand what the heck's going on right now." And then you could slowly rebuild it. It's almost like a um, a restoration of a house that you've got to pull back all of the original molding and framework, pull it out, bring it to a shop, restore it in the shop while you work on the foundation. And then once the foundation's good again, you reinstall it. Uh, what the first stanza is missing, um, <laughs> Patrick Smith says, love when you tickle the keys so quickly. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I, uh, I think they like it too. They, uh, they appreciate the um, the speed. The, the thing that it's missing is kind of the Confederacy stuff, which has, you guys don't know yet because you don't have, know the, the original poem. If the Confederacy stuff disappears, then so be it. The biggest, the, the three biggest metaphors in the poem were, were um, Cuba and memory and escape. Um, the, um, the coronavirus, the suffocation involved in that, and then the division of the country. But this, the division of the country at this point was nowhere near the division of the country now, so I don't know if it, if it really makes sense to be writing on that. Possibly. Possibly foreshadowing. Thanks again, Patrick Smith, for stopping in. Enjoy your conference call. All right, it's official. You know, I I don't think I told my wife about the fact that I've mentioned multiple times on this stream that I should do an ASMR video. And uh, she has now made the suggestion in addition in the chat. Uh, that's it. At this point, a typewriter ASMR video is happening. It's a matter of when, not if. It is obviously the direction this channel always meant to go in. I just gotta find a project where I'm writing for a couple of hours and then just do it. I gotta get one of those really nice microphones that picks up everything. And then tell the neighbors upstairs to be quiet.
So using these typewriters on the stream has also been a way to kind of test them out as I prepare them for potential consumer use. And um, this one is still continuing to give me weird margin problems. You can see it's a little uneven. And what's funny is every time I use it, a new piece falls out. Like, look at this. I don't know what this is. Do you know what this is? Because this fell out the last time I used it. A screw fell out the other time, but I put that screw back in. Now, last time I wrote this, I might have gotten a metaphor wrong. Um, so I have to do some research on that metaphor. And I disagree with the um, interpretation of one of the people in the writer's group. I think that the use of Esau is correct. Because they said that it was Jacob that had his birthright. Um, I'm reading the story more to try to make sure what's right. I don't know. It could go either way in terms of the metaphor. I'm trying to decide which way to go. Um, I may not be able to draw out the, the story. The, the metaphor might just not work. So I'm going to abandon it for now. 
This is this is what you call kill your darlings in the in the business. the word cloud in there for now. The weather is becoming more of a prominent um, uh, metaphor. Murder your darlings, says Forcha, yes. Bring them up to the altar and sacrifice them for the greater benefit of the of everything. <laughs> then we have this end of the poem, which I don't know if it's going to fit with what I have now. I'm looking in here at it. It goes, at least our Wi-Fi is free, at least our healthcare is shit. Who nurses the nurses swaying in social distance samba into the slavery of death? These are some of the most powerful lines I've ever written about anything, but I don't also want to throw them in there if they don't fit. Not a happy poem, I'll say that.
So for those that believe I always write happy-go-lucky things, this is this is the counterexample. It's finished. Um, the poem was kind of a conglomeration of the feeling of despair at pandemics at some of the heights of the pandemic last summer, um, isolation. And, um, the, the metaphors are still, still got problems, but the poem is clearer now. So at least I've kind of clar done some clarity. And, but to do that, I had to rewrite the poem. I couldn't go with the original version. Um, so this is Jordan Springs, Cuba. The pandemic weighs heavy on home isolation steady. I turn the key, take a drive, Dive into hills surrounding the Shenandoah winding. To a little place, Jordan Springs. Mountainside dream where I stop and listen to the radio rhythm of Benny Murray and steady rain. The misty eve disappears into memory. I see Jose Marti Airport. Philosopher of Liberty landing planes on the rough tarmac. I remember the Matanzas balcony. The bread cellar, the beauty of mountains and bays. The mornings where a wealth of people crowded together in the parks and streets. Music flowed from every window. Socialism, the only sickness. And the national scar of slavery that seemed emblazoned on every forehead. On the forehead of the national soul. I read the historical marker back in Virginia about the Confederate hospital within the Healing Springs. Men died in these damp hills, self-amputated from their birthright. A gray cloud secluded, floating on homeless. Sorry, I sometimes get edits in the middle when I'm reading. Floating on homeless in its homes hovering over us still today. The air is filled with poison inside our schools, halls, churches, and our speaking has become a wreaking of havoc upon our hospitals, legacies. At least our Wi-Fi is free. At least our healthcare is shit. Who nurses the nurses swaying in social distance samba into the slavery of death? I am attending the weddingless wedding I am living in the unmarried country. And I asked the stone-faced statuary what they would tell the world to give it hope. But they stand silent as the droplets rush down my cheeks. Water given in the place where long-lost natives believed in healing. A healing that never came. And that is Jordan Springs, Cuba. Um, and indeed, as uh, Foot Fro Mage says, it may make no sense. This one may be too close to home and too personal for me. Um, but uh, the themes um, <laughs> don't even rhyme, dog. Well, it's very, uh, the, it's a free verse. Free verse doesn't have to rhyme. And instead, what it does is it sometimes does in in-between rhymes, it does... Uh, um, It'll do like slant rhymes. Uh, and in and, and poetry, a lot of poetry will go beyond just simply the rhyming and get into more of that, that rhythm. Um, but if you want me to write something different that has more rhyming to it, I can do that. I do take requests. Um, our show will be wrapping up in about seven minutes. Uh, thank you so much, Patrick Smith. And thank you so much, Forcha. Really appreciate the support. But I think that overall, the poem has some more work that it needs into it. But it's at least starting to now take the path that might be a little clearer. Um, that's the great thing about writing groups, is you can run the run this type of work by writing groups, and you could definitely uh, uh, get some more feedback on it. Um, thank you so much, Forza.
As long as it, it, it is. I mean, that's, that's the great thing about doing this in the studio. The purpose of this is to really hash these out and to, and to, um, and to see whether I've actually hit the, the, the nail on the head with it all. And this one, like some poetry is, I'm going to think of the image because it's the best image to use and I'm going to use it. And then other poetry is, um, and I, I like that you did like the imagery because that, that really is kind of lucky more than anything else. Because this one was, I found, I stumbled upon this image. Like, I am the random person that drove through Virginia um, uh, and ended up um, coming across this place, Jordan Springs. So it's one of those things where it's like, wow, you know, like, uh, you know, I drove through drove to Virginia and, and, and came across Jordan Springs and I happened to be listening to Betty Moore at the same time. So I, I took this mishmash of images and just slammed them together. And part of the key is to kind of not have too many images driving was an image originally in this poem that left um and the and the esau and jacob story was also an image that left cow 46 says i wrote a song can you read it um yes i can uh, what i'll do is i'll drop my email what i do is i like to give myself a day to review uh some stuff unless you want to try tossing in the chat um as if it's as long as it's appropriate and, you know, then I'd be comfortable reading it on the stream right now. So you could either drop it in the chat or you can email me. Walkingmallpoet.com. So I appreciate your support, um, Forsta, and I appreciate everybody that's in here that is watching and tuning in. So that is kind of the story behind Jordan Springs, Cuba. And I, I mean, I like the poem myself, but that's just because I'm close to it. Very personal poem. Um, so yeah, that is how that has been going. So with about five minutes remaining, um, I think that I'll just kind of chat a little bit on here. Uh, Calf wants to, I wants me to re re um, read the song. I would love to read it. So I'm going to keep an eye out on my email to see if that comes through. And um, I hope that everybody has been having a good morning. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's been going well, uh, for me at least this morning and getting back into the groove of things. Yesterday was just, it was hard to miss yesterday's stream, but, um, I was, I wasn't even awake to miss it. <laughs> like, you know, like to try to get to it. It was, it was, it was just so sleepy after the big, uh, live stream that we had had previously. Um, so typewriter ASMR. Yeah, I, I think that... Uh, it will be a really cool thing to do that. I just, I have to plan to have a lot of writing. That's the key. Because I'm often stopping and thinking about the things that I'm writing. So if I stop and think about the things that I'm writing, then I'm not going to be able to keep going on the, uh, on the typewriter for the ASMR. So that's one of the things that I need to, uh, keep in mind as I do that. So, yeah. We have a couple more minutes before the stream will be ending. And what music do we have playing right now? Oh, this is good stuff from, from the, uh, the instrumentals. In the meantime, I guess I could get started on another poem or get started on some edits, talking a little bit about something that comes through here that I'm going to be working on, which is finally starting to touch the massive collection that I wrote in the forest. Now, this stuff that I wrote in the forest is extremely philosophical poetry. Extremely philosophical. So giving you a quick preview of what coming, what's coming next. Um, well, let me just pick something. Because what I did is, is I spent a whole day on top of a mountain, a uh, small mountain, very small mountain, with just me, the typewriter, and the wilderness. No technology, no nothing. Um, and I just wrote. And a lot of it looks like philosophy. Like, I have this one here. Are you guys ready? Ready for the, ready for philosophy? All right. Every tree, same 
yet different. That's it. That that's literally what, like, one of the sentences I wrote. That's not the only thing I wrote, of course. Um, oh goodness, did I end up switching my camera by accident? I did. Um, so stuff like that, or this. Um, uh, Like there's, there's some, I'm looking for these. Uh, oh, look at this one. This one is great. Cricket's chorus, daytime annunciation. You are Handel's Messiah, come at last. A poem entitled The Sound of Speaking to Non-Humans, Ponderance on the Confusion. Ooh, I like this. Ponderance on Confusion. I am not clicking the right things while I read. Ponderance on confusion. The bird calls forth for another without the angelic choir. Let's continue, he says. Let's make a ball of it. One song I sing only for you. Not the nuance, not a friend request and DM or an emoji filled flutter but just a single choice between possible and impossible, here or there, a strange intelligence in the futile melody. And when I say let's continue, I mean literally let's like the suggestion of let's continue the species. Thank you so much for the follow COP46 and thank you so much for everybody being here. A little of a, uh, uh, foreshadowing into what I'm going to be working on probably tomorrow. Uh, I've had these in my folder for a while now, and I really want to make some good writing on them. And I have a lot here. Uh, a lot of stuff about Brother Bear. Oh my goodness, this stuff's really cool. Um, and it's really cool to revisit it. Moss and Lichen. I wish not to disturb the bed of green the littlest blades bundled together for warmth. This snow of summer, carpeting the sharper edges of the mountain. Like it was kind of like a like a like an immersion into these into the into the wooded words, and it was pretty easy to just go to woods because it was all around me. Um, and some of it is pretty anxious. Some of it is very hopeful. I'm just in, I'm immersing in this. Thank you again, everybody that was in the chat today. Thank you, Mrs. Typewriter Poet. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Kip Vandersee, thank you so much for your help. Fool Killer, uh, with your own poetry. Patrick Smith, Portia, Murder Your Darlings, and Foot for Mage, and Cough 46. Let me make sure I didn't get an email. I did not get an email uh from cop 46 yeah so just um reach out to me and we can set something up thank you again so much everybody have a wonderful day